Today, little sis is going to have me follow the bone and cut up a chicken. You know, I said to her, are you sure about those lyrics? So my chef, when I was in culinary school, would tell me that. He would say, Julia, follow the bone. Just follow the bone. That's all you have to do is follow the bone. Okay. Um, I'm a little nervous because I've never done it before, and this is my only chicken. So if I mess it up, we're doomed. Follow the bone, that's all she tells me, follow the bone. I think that's a little vague, but here we go. All right, did you ever see the movie Eraserhead, huh? It's just like that, right? Okay, okay, follow the bone. Cut through the skin. Beautiful chicken, it's fresh and it's organic, it's from the local farm, and um, it's a great thing to know how to do because you can get a better quality chicken that way. So it's really easy. The easiest thing is to look for the joints where the chicken is moving. So here's my leg. There, there it is. There it is. I'm following the bone with my finger. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my goodness. Easy. Look at that. I just cut off a leg in like two seconds. Follow the bone, cut through the skin. Boy, I've got a really, i got a really movable cutting board, probably not the best. Break it, bring it out of the socket. I'll just show you. So I'm following the bone again, and this is our wing, and it's attached right here. I did it. So what am I gonna do with all this meat, you're asking? Um, today I am going to make chicken Caesar salad wraps, homemade pita, <laughs> yeah, and then tomorrow I'm going to make, um, chicken piccata. So here we go, here's the wing. Follow the bone. Here it is. Oh, the bone, bone, that's so hard. Okay, it's attached right here. I'm kind of doing it. All right, this one isn't, this one isn't coming out quite as well. Whoa. Anybody taking bets on how many times I cut myself? Here's my spine, and this is the breast here. All right, now, now I have to get the breasts off. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna follow the bone. And we're gonna get in there, and you do it kind of delicately. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of like a surgeon, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think, oh, okay. Don't pay attention to this. Pay attention to little sis. You just, um, I'm, not, I'm doing it, I'm using a little finesse. I'm kind of sliding it along the rib cage. Well, this one is certainly smaller than this one. Lopsided breasts. That happens when they're real. So there you go. We have our breast and we have a leg. We have a little drumette that we'll clean up later. We have our chicken wing and we have a thigh. Huh? It went a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. I'm gonna marinate it and uh, make fried chicken. So uh, it's the next day, even though I'm probably wearing the same thing. It's quarantine, I don't know what's going on. 
So, uh, so we had our chicken and we marinated it overnight in buttermilk and sliced lemons. And here it is. Hi. Have some chicken. Oh, thank you. This looks great. <laughs> nice and crispy. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> This is three teaspoons I one tablespoon and remember, follow the bone. Three teaspoons I one tablespoon. Three teaspoons I one tablespoon. Two tablespoons I one half. Eight ounces and a cup. Eight ounces and a cup. Eight ounces and a cup. Two cups 